Hi there, uh, welcome to the IC Computing part of this open day presentation. My name is Kalpesh uh, Sagar, I'm from the ICT Computing Department. Uh, I'll be talking about some of the courses that we offer here at the Enfield campus as well as the Enfield campus, just making it clear what site does what course. Uh, so I'll start off by just to uh, let you know that, uh, here, thank you Carl, there are some part-time courses that we do and these have been very, very popular over the last couple of years. In fact, there's a demand of increasing skills within ICT uh, to, to do with basic skills of getting confident around the computer, uh, to learning more about the different types of software, including Microsoft Office, but also not just that, but getting used to ways, new ways of communication, as in this time, it's a very important skill to learn. So we, we do this from entry one to level two at the Tottenham campus, but at Enfield campus, we do entry three to level one. And mainly the knowledge, as I say, is around Microsoft Office to help build your confidence. Uh, we also offer uh, full-time courses, uh, which are gateway level one courses. They, we are all, we, all the courses we actually offer are diplomas. Uh, and there's a reason why, because then it helps with the number of credits and also then it, is, it progresses you one level to another uh, better. So we do full-time courses as listed, level one uh, gateway in IT uh, user skills, level two uh, sitting guilds in IT user skills. Uh, the level two is slightly different from level one because you see there's more exam based modules. So it's uh, you learn through the sessions with your lecturers and then uh, finally do some sort of exam in under controlled conditions uh, it, normally at the, the campus within your with your teacher. Uh, level three courses are a bit of um, both, a bit of exam, a bit of practicals, a bit of project based, and it all comes together to then evidence a level three. But there are, are exam based units in level three courses uh, that we have as well. And just to mention that we also in the, this year we are running a BTEC level two course uh, this year as well, and we, we've finalised the units and they look very interesting. I'll talk about that in a bit. We also have access to HE Computing Level 3 course, very re rewarding course, course. It's only delivered at the Tottenham campus though, and I am the course tutor for that course. And it's a rewarding course for those adults that have gone away, done some sort of a career, or not necessarily uh, gone to a degree in computing or computer science, and now want to get back into it and then end up with a degree. So this is a one year fast track route, a level three diploma that gets you there. The comparison of that with the level three full time is that the level three full time course is two years, whereas the access is a one year course. Uh, there's also a city and guilds level three system support in IT uh, uh, course. Uh, this is a bit of you getting placed at a placement, but also studying uh, a day in the college. So it's a, a, another practical way to learn. Uh, again, we have uh, apprenticeship level three infrastructure technician. This is a apprenticeship itself. Uh, the sitting guild uh, level three system support course. Uh, we have uh, good connections with employers, particularly with uh, councils and uh, King's College. We have sent students there for placements. So it just going on. The next slide, please, Carl. Thank you. Uh, Entry one to level two in ICT. So if you're thinking about what type of knowledge do you cover from short courses, there's a list of bullet points there into different subject matter that we delve into. And we teach the students not by just, uh, you know, giving them work to do, but we actually show them how to do it, incorporate them in the learning. So, for example, during the COVID-19, this crisis that we have at the moment, we already have started teaching students uh, uh, via uh, the Microsoft Teams and they are very much used to uh, asking questions, sharing their screens, gaining control so that we can show them literally on their computer what they're doing right or wrong to then make them more confident with the, with the, with the knowledge itself. It's particularly aimed at parents, uh, parents that need to use technology to upgrade the skills where their, their children and other people around it from their family are starting to use this technology more and they want to start learning as well. Uh, employees need to also improve ICT skills. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of students that have been referred by Job Centre who actually uh, come to us saying that the employers are demanding that they learn these skills. So we help them along with this process. Kalpesh, I've got a question here from yes. uh, Wendy that yes. says, how many weeks of an IT course is level one? Uh, 
Yes, yeah, so good, good question. So for, for the short courses, it, it, it's roll and roll off. Uh, so you actually have four to six weeks on one course and then it will, you can actually apply for another short course to continuously do short courses throughout the year on different subject matter. So we, we certainly have different uh, courses aimed at Microsoft Office through different levels, but we also have specific short courses and in introduction web page design and HTML and CSS basic coding, which is uh, to do with more about the coding within a web page. There's an answer Thank question. Sorry, Carl. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank, thanks for that. Um, I'm sure Wendy will take that answer away. Um, okay, but this is for the short courses. Of course, the full time course, if you're referring to uh, the level one in a full time, then it's a last year, one year. Brilliant. Do you want to uh, move on to the yes. next slide? Thank you. So here I've put on one slide the kind of subject matter we often get asked by students. Uh, yes, it is a course at level one, level two, level three. What exactly are you, you, you incorporating as units? So I've listed them there. And of course, further information can be given once you do contact us through uh, the open days and, and, and other air times that we can actually tell you more about the course itself. But in terms of subject matter, we do look at the Adobe suite. And uh, luckily this, even through the COVID-19 crisis, we've actually had students that are using Adobe software to design websites through uh, sitting at home and getting lecturer guidance and uh, lots of hints and tips and, and, and lessons. So it's actually uh, not a limitation for us using Adobe to create websites um, and many other programming uh, applications that we use. And the Microsoft Office 365 suite is great because you can actually work on one piece of document at the same time with different groups. So group work is a very good, good way to go forward. But you can see the listed topics that we have. It is about building your foundational knowledge of computing, not just in one field, but many of the fields uh, to do with databasing, uh, programming, website development, and of course, a growing interest of computer games development. So you, we use Unity and we use um, uh, Blender to uh, get your knowledge uh, more up to date within the gaming industry and how to create games. And uh, students are quite surprised uh, when they, over a week or two, they actually produce a game and they, they, they like the process of it. So we, again, this year are including computer games development as well. But we also want our skills uh, to be developed further using social media and business. So we teach students how to create these banners and adverts and social media uh, tracking and, uh, and so forth, the knowledge within social media to help in the business. So this is something that's a growing interest nowadays too. And of course, there's other subjects to do with your technical knowledge uh, as well uh, in com uh, computer networks and also project planning. Uh, it is to our target is around 16 to 18, 19 plus. However, be aware that we do have two groups at uh, level three uh, and level two and level one, all levels, because we recognize that some groups of uh, students uh, have a different dynamic in the classroom. So th that's why we've kept 16 to 18 separate from 19 plus. Uh, it does improve your skills and employability prospects because you're creating a portfolio of different uh, projects that you've worked on. So for example, within uh, the websites, we are creating a Cornell Creative Hub uh, website for the creative media department so that we can then have students this year develop the first version and in the coming year have students develop it further and year on year on uh, we, we develop it as the academic uh, and also a real project as well. We for the computer games development if I take a moment before I move on. The computer games development unit uh, draws on briefs that are project based so that means that we enter students into competitions including uh, the Digital Skills London uh, workshops that we have with the Staffordshire University. Uh, we do that across two sites, Tottenham as well as in Phil, and it's rewarding because students actually attend workshops, gain the skills in a real working environment and then put it into practice as well and maybe develop a game uh, or something of their own genre at their own interest, which becomes rewarding. Uh, we also have young game developer competitions that students uh, go through. Uh, and uh, also the lecture brief as another option. So we do, do provide these options to help build your portfolio. So not only do you leave with the qualification, but you leave with some experience within some sort of real world environment or project. Uh, so this is uh, the, the idea again going forward, and we're always looking for more website projects uh, to get our students uh, into. 
Calpes, just before we move on to the next yeah. slide, I've had a question uh, around someone wanting to know about cyber security courses, which is obviously quite topical. Um, do we do any cyber security courses for adults and are they free? Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so we don't do any cyber security courses, uh, you know, in terms of full time at the moment. What we do incorporate cyber security as a module within our level two and level threes. We're planning to do this, but level threes on the second year, we have a cyber security unit that we have as part of full time program. However, we do do short courses for adults to help them understand how to stay safe online. So there's uh, uh, some content within the short course that we do cover this. They are available online. If you look within our short course list, you can actually see there's uh, keeping safe online, different technologies around social networking and how to keep safe online. But if you're looking for a spe specific cybersecurity course, uh, we did have uh, a year ago, we were looking into this and uh, the, we've now offered actually an infrastructure technician uh, level three that incorporates a lot of the different uh, cyber security aspects in there, but we also incorporate it at level three. OK, do you want me to move on to your access for you? Yes, please. Just conscious we've got about five minutes left. Yes, thank you. So uh, access to HE is a, a, a very rewarding course, as I say. You can see the list of topics there, but we, in short, we're preparing students to build their confidence, <laughs> but also to learn on basic writing skills uh, and also presentation skills and then you learn about database and websites, uh, programming, as well as the different technical aspects of the computer and also teaming up with mathematical units. And this increases your uh, knowledge, but also your confidence to then apply at university. This course has been primarily made for that one year route. However, it doesn't mean that you just have to go to university straight. It may be that you take a year out and concentrate on English and maths. And just on that point, through any of the courses that I've mentioned, it is important that you do develop your English and maths alongside the course. And this is something you can do as long as it fits in with the timetable. Thanks. Thanks for that, Kalpesh. Um, I'll jump you into your level two system support. Yes. In that case. So in the system support, as I mentioned earlier, this is particularly for students that want to, to go to be an IT technician or some technical aspects where they like opening up computers and, and looking at the different integrities of how things work. So this is a course specifically for that. Uh, and it's 16 to 18, 19 plus uh, uh, groups that we incorporate here. Uh, next slide. Please. Yeah, of course, on to your apprenticeships level three. Apprenticeship level three is a, a, is a great course to do, especially if you want some sort of a placement as well as you would like to study the knowledge component at the college. And you can see the list of topics there are very uh, married with somebody that wants to be a technician fixing problems and solutions uh, that a user may have. So this is a first line technician or IT support engineer types of uh, roles that I'm referring to. And this course is, is a good course to do, particularly because you have a 20% off the job training. Uh, you have a process whether you have your synoptic project, a summative portfolio, an employee reference and an interview. And th there's a process around this. And also uh, we have a very knowledgeable uh, recruitment uh, rec uh, teacher that we have recruited uh, and it's a second year that he's done this, but very experienced from pre previous who has been delivering apprenticeships and also have won many competitions in, in as well, particularly the world skills. If I look at that. Next slide, please. OK, so just to tie some other points in, we don't think of you as just a learner going through one year and then forget about you. We want to stay with you through the levels to, to see how far you can go through the levels and then eventually at university or job role. We have students come back to us to be uh, teaching students about programming knowledge and many others because they find it rewarding when they go off. Uh, we've had students, in fact, doing access to computing courses that said that actually the course has been uh, preparing them much more. And in fact, they find a first year of a degree easier. In other words, they settle into better. So I find that's a, a good comment to have. Um, we have access to your future uh, workshops where we take students literally to a, career, a careers event and also universities are there to talk to about prospects. And this happens as soon as you literally start the course within a month or two, you end up looking at the universities that you may go. We do uh, Black History Month videos um, that students get uh, some CPD time that they could use on this. Uh, we have Digital Institute London workshops 
that I mentioned previously. We have EGX Gaming Exhibition the trip we went to this year. Students found that rewarding you know, to inspire them about gaming. We have National Museum of Competition, again, a journey of computing devices, and it's absolutely brilliant run with a visitor, um, into a, a tour, tour visit. Uh, a Discovery Channel workshop, uh, digital transformation, uh, and many others that are listed there. But two, I would like to just emphasize, we also uh, entered the World, World Skills competition. And as I was mentioning, uh, we have a apprenticeship technician uh, lecturer who uh, is very well versed in this and has been a judge in one of these World Skills competitions. So this is a very good chance, if you're interested in that, to get involved in, in those courses. Uh, we also have eSport game competitions that we run between the sites in building here as well that uh, students get involved in and also guest speakers from industry including banking gaming from IT. Any questions? Sorry, I've whisked through it, but if there's any questions, please. No, no, you've got through so much in uh, 20 minutes. So um, we are we are really pushed for time. So I know we've got to jump to uh, sports and pub. Um, okay. Let me just double check who we've got up next. Uh, public services next with Brendan uh, Berry. Yeah. Um, thank you. I'd like to take an opportunity to say thank everybody watching. And if there's any questions, please refer them through advice and guidance and do let us know and we can help.